everyone. Welcome back to All the Neffiness. Today I am here trying out my very first mixed media layout. I'm going to be using 10 of my uh, favorite techniques. So I have been watching a few YouTubers out there who like doing uh, mixed media mixed media layouts. Um, and so today I decided that I was going to give it a try. Um, it's still quite new to me. I'm more of like a simple... Um, kind of scrappy type of gal, but I thought I'd give it a try because you know what? We got to try new things to keep expanding our horizons. <laughs> so let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to be doing is trying out the ribbed paper technique. I brought out my um, Heidi Swap. Uh, this came out last year. I think you guys have seen it in a couple of my videos. I'm just grabbing two papers, uh, this pink one and then this uh, black and white scripted one. So now that I have my papers picked out, I'm going to start working on my base. And uh, as I have seen other um, of the mixed media scrappers do, they create a base on, the, on their page with uh, sometimes with watercolor. And that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm just going to go in kind of crazy and do whatever. Um, the trick to watercolor, I think, is that you just need to add a lot of water. So, um, you know, a trick to it is just pour your water on your paper and kind of just go crazy with it. Uh, you know, don't be afraid to just let it happen. Um, I'm just kind of swirling in all the water, trying to get the... The black, um, I'm going with black because I feel like black and white are definitely the it colors. If you get a lot of extra water on your paper, you could just pour it back into your cup like I did there. And I'm just picking up some of that black that I splattered onto my paper and kind of give it a little touch of watercolor as well. I'm also going to be drying this because I just don't like to wait so long. So just dry up your cute little watercolor base. I'm coming in with a few more splatters too to add a little bit more details and just pushing them out creating sort of designs with my uh, heat tool. So I'm trying really hard to get this dry really fast. The trick to it is that you gotta kinda push it into the wet spots and just try not to burn your paper because it does get pretty pretty hot. Uh, you saw that I came in with my brush uh, one more time and kind of just added extra splatters. That's just to add a little bit more text, or not texture, but like dimension to this uh, watercolor. So like I said, I'm using black because I, um, I just feel like black and white is kind of the it colors when it comes to scrapbooking. Um, there, you know, other than pink, of course, because you can never go wrong with pink. <laughs> so... I'm trying this new technique that I also have seen around, and that is paper piecing. Um, I've seen a couple of messy journals where, you know, they piece papers. So all I'm going to do is rip up the papers and just add them to my base. I'm using some clear glue. Uh, if you guys uh, like your papers to kind of stick out and warp your back paper you can totally just use some glue instead of tape and that'll definitely give it that extra 3d touch to it so um since i ripped up the pink paper i'm going to be using that black and white piece that i originally ripped off as kind of like a base for my photo so the next thing that i have seen um mixed media scrappers uh, do to their layouts is that they add a lot of texture to the layout so I have had these uh, cute uh, mustache stickers in my stash for a while. They um, are kind of fuzzy. Um, I found them in the Target dollar spot, and you guys know how much I love the Target dollar spot, so I thought this was just perfect. Um, I had three of them left, so I'm just going to add them to my layout. That's totally going to add the texture that I need for this mixed media. Um, so yes, number five is using stencils. And stencils are fun because they create super cute patterns on your page. Um, and uh, also a trick that I wanted to show you guys is that if you guys don't want to get too much stuff dirty, um, just pour your paint onto your brush like so. 
and kind of just uh, spread it onto your paper, you know? There's not really very much rules for that. But if you guys don't feel like getting out like a bowl or whatever for the paint, then just pour it right on your paper. You can't go wrong with that. I'm using a glitter paint and I just thought it would go really cute with the black and the pink that I've got going on in my layout. Um, like you guys saw, I used a, a stencil. So the next, uh, number six of the techniques that I'm using for this layout is going to be embellishments. So, of course, embellishments, I think, are the best part. Um, I'm going to be using this My Mind's Eye uh, chipboard sheet that I've had for a while. Uh, I have a few pieces on there that I really like. I'm bringing in my photo now, and it's a selfie. And like I've said before, you guys can't, you guys shouldn't be afraid for selfies. <laughs> um, I'm making sure that I'm adding plenty of glue there so that my doily can stick. And, of course, on my photo as well. Uh, I think that uh, scrapbooking selfies is the best thing because, come on, you guys just got to love on yourselves. So make yourselves some super cute layouts. That's how I preach it. <laughs> so I'm adding some flowers and some rainbows. And then I'm adding my title. You guys know that I like to uh, add my titles um with the embellishments. I like my embellishments to create my title. So that's what I did here. And the title here is fantastic. And of course I brought in the black and white. Um, and it matches perfectly with my black watercolor and then my black mustaches. So now what I'm doing is adding more texture to my mixed media layout. Um, my good friend uh, Jiller P, you will find her on Instagram. She does the cutest like clusters of thread on her layouts, which I super love. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to be adding some of this gold one. And I'm also going to be adding some of the silver because we all know that gold and silver go perfect together. So I'm showing you guys here. I just pull like a crap load of thread out. And then I just go crazy with it. Check it out. Got to pull on it, bounce it a little, and that's how you'll get the perfect, just, um, what would you call it, knotted up cluster of thread. And I'm adding it behind my doily. I added the gold one on one side and the silver one on the other side. So I figured since I'm uh, creating a mixed media layout, I thought, you know what, I'm going to add some glitter to it. So I got some of this glitter and I kind of just blew it over the top. Um, it made a big old mess. I'm just bringing in the brush to brush uh, some of the glitter bits off my photo and off my embellishments. And then I'm shaking it on. It's kind of sticking to the paint that I added, so I thought that was perfect. Uh, you might have a mess around your area, but hey, if it's glitter, it's all right. So the next one will be number nine, and that is more embellishments. You cannot go wrong with adding more and more em embellishments to your layouts. And I think especially in mixed media, because you really want to mix up what you're adding onto your layout. Um, I'm adding three of these uh, rhinestones because uh, it's going to match with my three mustaches. And as you know, one of the rules of scrapbooking is that you've got to create three, three main focal points. Um, I'm also bringing in this cupcake because I thought it went perfect with my photo because I just look as cute as a cupcake. <laughs> so I'm adding that. Um, and then I added a nine and a half point here because I thought that um, word phrase stickers need their own special point. And that is, um, you know, I love word phrase stickers. I think that they add some sass to your layouts, especially when you're using fun quotes which you guys will see in the close-ups. Um, and I really think that they kind of just finish off the layout. Uh, so I'm adding four of these. They're kind of fun and sassy. These are Heidi Swap board phrase stickers. And then finally, my tenth one um, is splatters. I have three brushes in my cup, so I figured, you know what? Let's use all three of them. That way I can get the best splatters around. And then I had the idea to come in and add some of that um, 
yucky water in my cup to my photo. I thought maybe it'd give it a little enhancement. And that is it, guys. This was my first ever mixed media layout. I used 10 of my favorite techniques that I have learned from other scrappers. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this process video. And I hope that you guys are inspired to go create your own mixed media layout. Uh, if you guys have any comments or questions from where I got supplies, leave your comments down below. And I hope you guys are enjoying the close-ups. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.